there is an operator now which we can do sometimes if you want complete pain relief with peripheral nerve blocks alone. And the way we do it is trace on the medial side of the femoral artery mm -hmm. and we look for the tectinous muscle which is the base of where on which the femoral artery lines here. And then if you go further medial, there you see the three adductor muscles. You see that? Yeah. That's the adductor longus, adductor brevis, and adductor magnus. Now, because these muscles are big and chunky, we need to increase the depth. So we get we get to see them clearly. Yeah. So this is this is the plane. Yeah. So you see a white line moving there, that could be a nerve, see that? Uh, yeah? yeah, that could be the anterior division moving along with that between the rectal longus and brevis. See that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. See so here. It's quite clearly seen. So sometimes you can see the anterior and posterior divisions. The posterior division is seen as a thick hyperechoic uh, structure. Running between the previous and the previous. So I would say this this one and that one. Uh, him. Uh, because these are deep structures. Yes, you're going to ask them. Uh, can you show it uh, to us on the anatomy? And medial. Oh, just all medial. the same plane yeah. medial. Sorry? Could you show it? Could you show uh, the abdominal of the nerve on the anatomy? Yes, you can. Yeah. And so, would you put those two separately or would you trace them approximately? If you trace them proximally, it's you, you can see them. See that? Yeah. 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 This is your adductor muscles. Yeah. That's your pectine. Yes, it's just grouped up here, and then they divide into two. One goes along that plane, and one goes along this plane. See that? This is quite a deep nerve, isn't it? It's very difficult to do in plane. If, you, if I do in plane from here, everything might look okay, but I may be going through the femoral artery. Mm -hmm. You see the femoral artery there? Yeah. Because it's not in the picture, you might think you're okay, but maybe inserting the needle here and going through the femoral artery. So the best uh, technique for this operator block is an out of plane. So where you pull the probe like this, and also you travel less through the muscle. So you insert it here. So grab my finger, just yeah. pushing there. Yeah. So you go for a pop. Once you enter that space, you put a bit of local anesthetic. Yeah. Or you go in further. First, put a bit of local anesthetic. You draw the needle there. Right. And put a bit of local there. Okay. So you're putting it in two different planes. It's a bit like you know the the tab lock we put between two planes. Yeah. So you do a bit like that. But if you go proximally, you see that you now we can see it. And because he's so thin, you can see even the treatment of the forehead device. There's a bit of vessel there as well. Just there, yeah? Yeah, but that is too high up. The pen is drawing, it's too medial. He, we can only see it because he's very thin. In normal patients, you only see um, quite a big layer of adipose tissue. And then you have the muscles which are very deep. So even if you can see the layers, uh, that's, that's the best thing for you. Uh, I think uh, those are the three major branches of the lumbar plexus. We can trace the sulfate femoral nerve into the adductor canal if you follow the femoral artery. And the femoral artery has got the sartorius as the root. Yeah? So if you keep following the femoral Feel that 
adductor maximus is becoming thinner and thinner because it is going to form joint form the adductor hiatus. Your vastus medialis still looks the same, and your sartorius is getting more and more flatter. Okay. So if you follow it all the way down, you can have a bit more jizzy. So now we come to the point where the femoral artery is going to exit through the adductor hiatus to become the popliteal artery. Right. See, at this point, the femoral artery dies, that's it, it disappears. But you still have the rest of the things remain as it is. Your vastus medialis is there, your sartorius is here, and your crescentus is here. Okay? Only thing happened here is, your artery has disappeared. Yeah? And if you trace back to the point where the artery disappears, above the artery, if we tilt it, you see the nerve lying above the artery. Can you see that? Yeah. Bright white structure. Yeah. That's your sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So you can do the block there, or you can do it slightly higher up. When it is in the sartorial canal, you see the sartorius forms the roof. So you can deposit it just underneath the sartorius. You can come back to where the artery disappears off, so you can just see the nerve lying sitting on top of the artery. Or you can do it even further down, when the artery completely disappears and your nerve is trying to emerge out into the skin. You see that? You see it's coming out, coming out, and it becomes almost... You see that? Yeah. That's a saphenous nerve. It becomes a cutaneous nerve at that point. There's no vessel like a being there, it's just a cutaneous nerve. Do you see this uh, dorsal genical head artery? Yes, you, you do see it uh, here in the sort of the canal if I just gently keep it. It's, it's a branch of the femoral artery. The nerve yeah. lies, saphenous nerve lies next to that. The small one is not picking up enough uh, muscularity. So I take the board off. You see the small vascular structure above the artery. Yeah, near the it's a descending geniculate artery. This is something that's described with along with the saphenous nerve. Yeah. There's an artery. It's almost consistently there, but we'll see whether we can see it on the canal. Yeah, but that's that's how we do the saphenous block. The advantage of saphenous block is a purely sensory nerve, so you don't have any of the motor uh, weakness that's associated with the femoral nerve block. So you get a pure sensory block. But then basically the sensory. For the, for the knee as well as for the uh, ankles and for the medial side of the leg, yes. The knee again, when the saphenous nerve supplies just the skin around it, infrapatella branches and stuff. But uh, if you're if you're talking about surgery, bone surgery, most of the bone supply comes from the muscular branches. So there is you have to compromise if you want to have a good analgesia. Then the motor blockade is almost yeah. goes with it. Has it. To be, yeah. Goes with it. Yeah, but which? How do you uh, anesthetize this? I mean, how do you inject? Uh, in plane? In plane. See that? From yeah. Media? See my finger pushing there. Yeah. Yeah. So you go yeah. from in plane to lateral to medium. Yeah. Yeah. So what you will see is your needle will be yeah, coming from that to just yeah. above the artery yeah. and just maybe five five miles. Five miles will be enough. Yeah. That's, that's it's very a very good small approach nerve. and easy approach yeah. for patients is to point. You yes. don't need to move the patient. So when we, we that's what we, we do is when we do yeah. for the ankle surgery, mm -hmm. we put